You're at your first conference. You have your laptop for note taking, your business cards for networking. You even studied the schedule ahead of time so that you could plan out your day to get the most bang for your buck. There's nothing you aren't prepared for. That is, until you sit down for the opening session and you see this on the screen. Wait, what? Follow what? What you see here is a hashtag. It's a combination of a hash sign and a short description or a tag that is used to organize and retrieve messages with similar content on the social networking site Twitter. Hashtags are a type of social tagging or folksonomy, which means that the user is the one that identifies the content of an item and assigns tags for it to be organized by. For example, Shark Week starts July 31st on the Discovery Channel, so lots of people have been talking about it on Twitter. Each one of these Twitter messages, or tweets, has been tagged by its author with the Shark Week hashtag. You can see it here. Because they've been tagged, these messages can be organized together. By the way, this video isn't affiliated with Shark Week or the Discovery Channel in any way. Many conferences have started using hashtags to create back channels so that attendees can post and discuss at the same time as real life lectures and events. This gives attendees a greater voice and increases engagement and collaboration. But how exactly do you do it? Following a Twitter hashtag is easy and you don't even need a Twitter account to do it. You just need to go to the Twitter website and type your hashtag into the search box here. I'm going to search for the San Diego Comic Con hashtag. Comic Con just took place a few days ago, so hopefully we'll get some good replies. Once you've done your search, you can view the results that come up as the top results all results, or results that include a URL. Looking at the all of the results is how to get the best feel for what people are really talking about. On the all page, the tweets are organized in chronological order, with the most recent being at the top of the page. You can see that all of these tweets include the San Diego Comic Con hashtag. You get far more features with a Twitter account, so I would recommend that you have one. Signing up is free and easy. All you need is your full name, email address, and then you need to choose a password and a username. It shouldn't take more than a few minutes to set up an account. Keep in mind that while Twitter allows you to adjust the privacy settings in your account, to most successfully use hashtags, you should keep the default privacy setting. This makes all of your tweets public or viewable by anyone. Let's say that you want to see the tweets on the American Library Association's recent conference. Here you can see that the conference lists the hashtag ALA11. So, you want to go to the Twitter website and log in. And then you want to conduct a search in this search box for that hashtag. Here, you can see the stream of tweets that all include the ALA11 hashtag. Let's say that you want to refer back to this search in the future. You can click here on Save This Search and then revi revisit it later from your home screen. So let's do that.
Saving searches is also handy because if you use the Twitter app on your smartphone, it will add this saved search as a search suggestion in your app. You can also easily delete the search later if you don't need it anymore. Last, but certainly not least, you can contribute to the conversation yourself. Go to your home screen and type your message in the box under What's Happening? Make sure to double check the spelling of the hashtag. If you have any typos, it won't be included with the other posts. Once you're finished, click Tweet. And now you've done it. You've contributed to the conference. Hashtags make it possible for people to follow a conference from all over the world. And hashtags also allow users to share information long after the conference has ended. Using a Twitter hashtag to develop back-channel conversations can enrich a conference's content by taking it from this to this. Through giving attendees a platform from which to speak. I hope that you found this tutorial helpful. Thanks for watching.